Hello, in this video we're going to look at a case when a monopoly doesn't create a dead weight loss. Here's the setup. A monopolist inverse market demand is given by P equals 50 minus Q. P is the price per unit and the quantity here is Q. Marginal cost is constant at $10. There is a negative externality in production. The marginal external cost is $20. What is the monopolist level of output? What is the efficient level of output? What is the deadweight loss associated with monopoly? What is the competitive market's level of output? What is the deadweight loss associated with competition? Let's start with the monopolist level of output. Here's the inverse market demand. From that we'll get marginal revenue. Marginal revenue is the inverse market demand with a slope that is twice as steep. We'll set marginal revenue equal to the monopolist private marginal cost, which we set is constant at $10. Subtracting 10 from both sides and dividing through by 2, the monopolist will produce 20 units of output to maximize profit, and the price that the monopolist will charge is going to be $30, plugging this 20 back into the inverse market demand. And for the efficient level of output, we're going to produce where price equals the marginal social cost. In other words, keep producing units up until the point where the marginal benefit of the last unit just equals the marginal social cost. The marginal social cost is the monopolist private marginal cost plus the marginal external cost. Using our values given earlier, that's going to be $30. So the price inverse market demand or the price equation is 50 minus Q, setting that equal to $30. Q equals 20 and the price is 30. This is the same outcome as a monopolist. The dead weight loss of monopoly then is going to be zero in this case. The monopolist is producing the quantity of output that maximizes the sum of consumer and producer surplus, the efficient level of output. In this example there is no dead weight loss under monopoly. Monopolies restrict output, which in this case is good. Because of the negative externality in production, we don't want the firm to overproduce. Let's look at the deadweight loss under perfect competition. The competitive output occurs where price equals marginal cost. The price equation set it equal to marginal cost of 10. Solve for Q, we get 40. Add a price here, which equals marginal cost of $10. And the deadweight loss we're going to see with the help of a graph. It's going to be over here. So first, let's uh, recap. We found the monopoly outcome where marginal revenue equals marginal cost. That occurred at 20 units of output. And then the monopolist asked, well, what's the highest price per unit I can get to sell all 20 units? So we walk up to the demand curve and come across, and that's $30. So that's the monopoly outcome. Price of 30 and a quantity of 20. The efficient outcome is where price equals marginal social cost. So marginal social cost is just a marginal cost plus the $20 of external cost, so that's $30. So where does the marginal social cost intersect demand? That also happens to be at 20 units, which is the efficient level of output. And for perfect competition, price equals marginal cost. Price is 10, quantity is 40. In perfect competition, we're producing 20 more units than is optimal. What is the dead weight loss associated with those 20 units? It's going to be given by this triangle here between the height of the marginal social cost curve and the demand curve. So this triangle right here. So the height of this triangle is going to be just 30 minus 10. And the base of this triangle here is going to be 40 minus 20. And we get a dead weight loss of $200.